Thank you very much for talking to us oh, today. Thank you for coming. Now, Romeo is obviously a big rebel. He's one of the vo most famous rebels, perhaps. Were you ever a bit of a rebel when you were younger? I think so. Yeah, definitely. I sort of, you know, I never like to be told what to do, um, <laughs> especially in school. Um, yeah, and I feel like I'm, I'm also very, and I'm a very impulsive person, okay. as Romeo is. I think he's, he's impulsive to the max, for sure. Can you think of something that you got in, really in trouble for when you were little? I'm not really sure. I, I remember there was a time at school when it was sort of towards the end of term and we were like, right, we've got to do something. We've got to do something good. And we, and we organised with the whole year that a certain minute in the day, I think it was while well, we all had maths, everyone would just stand up and just run out of the classroom <laughs> and run to the sports field. And where there's this, there was like this big bank at the bottom of the sports field and everyone just ran and hid behind it the whole year. So the teachers just did not know what was happening. Everyone on cue on the minute just went up and just pegged it and like hid from all the teachers. Yeah, that was, that was probably the, the, one of the naughtiest things we did as kids. I like that. I like that it was naughty on mass as well, not just yeah, you naughty on mass. Well, you did the things where you would like slowly move the, the 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 table and chairs slowly forwards, like so that the teacher suddenly yeah. feels like the class is getting close to them. We don't, can't quite realise why, because it's been done so slowly over the course of like two hours. Like, all those terrible, annoying things you did as a kid, which annoy me if I was a teacher, I'm sure. Now, this is something that I really wanted to know. In the scene where uh, Friar and uh, Romeo are talking about his fate. Mm -hmm. um, Friar smacks him around the head. Yeah. Was that a real hit? Oh yeah, that was that was that was totally real. And you know, in a movie, you have to film things multiple times. And Paul liked to pick up. You know, when we when he'd stop and he'd go back and like do a bit again, he'd always pick it up from the hit. So he'd always be like whack across the face, and I'd have to like have to like stomach that again. Um, but it was it was great. I mean, for me, it's perfect because it means that you know it sort of help, helps me act. And it was slightly painful. My my ear was slightly swollen and sore the next day. There's quite a lot of scope in the movie for you to have got hurt. I mean, there was the horse riding, obviously. Mm -hmm. I know that you're a bit of a pro at horse riding anyway, but still, there was the sword fighting. Yeah. Um, was there a lot of training involved with that? Yeah, I mean, we, we had a couple of weeks in Italy before where we were doing lots of horse training, lots of sword fighting, and like, a few bit, bit of dance, dance rehearsals. But for a young guy, it's so much fun. It's like your dream on the weekends to be going and just like rehearsing these sort of great fights and, um, you know, and, and just getting on a horse and galloping through the Italian countryside. It's a dream. Now, I've got a little bit of a game, okay, quickly. Okay, go on there. Um, now, <laughs> Romeo, as we know, is quite suave. He, he knows how to handle himself. He's got street smart sort of thing. Yeah. So I want to just see, very quickly, if you're Romeo or Romeo. No. Romeo or Romeo, no. okay. okay. So I've got some scenarios for you. Okay. Okay, so you're in a bar and a fight breaks out. Right. What are you going to do? Are you going to get involved? Are you going to sit back? Are you going to get the women out of there? What are you going to do? Well, you have to get the women out of there first, clearly. And then, um, I mean, I think all men have it hot wired into us, which is a terrible trait that we always want to jump in. Whenever there's a fight, we're like, oh, what's going on? I want to get involved. But then I think as soon as you learn to be a mature adult, I think it's, it's much, you're much bigger a person just to walk away and jokes on them sort of thing. That's my advice. Yeah, no point going and getting your nose broken. Too many friends have had that done. And it's not a good look. No, definitely not. Um, you know, you're on a date with a girl. Mm. She reaches across and takes food off your plate. Right. What are you going to do about that? It's fine. Just tell her she can carry on? Yeah, that's, that's ter terrible. I'm, I'm one of those people, probably not on a date or a first date, but I'm, like, I'm that awful, annoying person that sees something come, I'm like, oh, that looks good. And I, I like take a bite before they even take a bite. It's so rude and terrible. So oh. I'm, like, I'm, I'm a chief offender on that front. So you'll be taking the food from her plate? No, not on a first <laughs> date. You can't do that. <laughs> And what's your ideal kind of day? Museums and art galleries and kind of cultural things or off-roading in a 4 by 4 Both. I'm okay. a huge adrenaline junkie and a big culture buff, so for me it's all about mixing the two up. I, I you know, do the, um, you know, do the, all the adrenaline stuff in the morning and then go sort of, go see an exhibition and then go see a, go see a play in the evening and, yeah, that's the perfect balance. Oh, thank you so thank much. Thank you so much. Time. Cheers.